Hey guys, so setting up a GMB listing is completely free and something that you have to do for any business. Um, so getting your Google business profile, simply click on the link here, just Google setting up, set up Google business listing. It'll be the first thing you come to and on the screen here, you can type in the business name. Um, I'm just going to put in business name in Hillington, which is where my office is. Um, I'm just going to put that as the business name. Business category, um, we can put in marketing agency, marketing consultant. Now, don't worry too much. You can add other business categories further on in the process. So we click next. Um, do you want to add a location customers can visit, like a store or an office? Um, you can do. Most people who genuinely have an office would say yes to that. Um, so just click next. Um, enter your business address. Um, this is where you can enter one, two, three, um, Renfrew Road, Paisley, blah, 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 blah. You put in your own business address, of course. Um, <coughs> now, it's then um, got other businesses that are listed at that particular place. So is that any of my businesses? If it's not, uh, just click none of these and click next. Because um, basically Google don't want to have multiple businesses registered at the same address. Do you provide deliveries or home office and visits uh, or home and office visits? People come to my office, so the answer will be yes. Um, and add the areas that you serve. Um, you can change or add more later. Oh, obviously here I can put in Glasgow, UK. Um, you can add in whatever. But obviously if you do worldwide business, bear that in mind as well. Contact number you can put in. Um, and your website, I would advise filling this out to the best of your ability. Um, obviously my office uh, number is that. So I'm just putting that in and put in my website address. Click next. That's the details that will be shown to the customers publicly. Verification. You're now verified. Um, you can click next, you can reply to reviews, turn on chat and more. Um, so I can go in and add in telemarketing, I can add in other custom services like SEO, whatever else I choose to do. Now opening hours, typically we open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and you can put in opening it, you know, I just put 24 hours because you can email us or whatever. Um, the reason that I say this is if you say you're open from nine to five, um, some people are of the belief that if you're searching at seven o'clock at night, your business is not open. It will show someone else's business who appears open. So probably select 24 hours would be my advice. You can accept messages through your Google business listing. So you can just accept that and you can put in a business description which we'll skip for now. Add photos of your business. You can select photos of the front, the inside, whatever you want to do. I'm going to skip that for now and make it easier for customers to find your business. You can start using uh, the, the kind of local ads, which would look like this and obviously a little call to action to phone the business. Um, job done. Your edits will be visible once you're verified. So, your business is not visible to customers. You need to then get this verified. This is the next step and the final step. So, how do we get the business listing verified and why do they want that? Now, of course, um, <coughs> Google want to make sure that your business is where you say it is and uses the right phone number and so on and so forth. Now, I have said that none of those above are my business because they're not, um, and I click continue. Now, what they do in terms of verification, uh, 
changes. Now, sometimes they'll do a phone call and give you a code. Sometimes they will send out a postcard to your house. But the new thing that they do is a business video. So you have to record a video of your business, show your location, equipment, and proof of management. Your video is only used for verification and won't be shown publicly because there's so many people out there who basically spam the, the map listings. They want a video before you get verified. So clearly they don't believe the information that I've put in. There's not enough corroboration out there. So you are now expected to create a video saying, this is my office. There's the door, there's the outside, here's a bill, <laughs> here's the, the, the lease agreement that's in my name or whatever it might be. They want documentation to prove that that is your business listing. And that's because so many people have indeed spammed the system. So it's saying your location um, and it should be all done in one continuous recording. It should match your address, your business name, and you know, using uh, unlocking the shop entrance, operating a payment tool, or provide proof of address using some form of information. Um, you're then asked to make sure that you capture all three requirements in that video. And most successful videos are between one and two minutes. Uh, one and two minutes. Most videos that are longer than five minutes will not be accepted. Um, and make sure you capture your business surroundings first before moving inside the business. So you're either going to have to do that or you're going to have to do the postcard thing. And if you're lucky, maybe one out of 10 times, you may get a phone call verification. That is how simple and easy it is to verify your business. Bit of a pain in the backside, but if you really are where you say you are, you should have no problems in being able to do that. So that is step one. Thank you.